Hello, welcome back to Dr. How. Today I'm going to be talking about GTK morph and how to create a regeneration morph. The first thing to do is identify some shots uh, which we're going to, going to use as the start and end point of the morph. We've got uh, a shot of Romana number one from the end of episode two in the Armageddon Factor. And uh, so we're going to take that image and we're going to morph it into an image of uh, Princess Astra from the end of episode five. We've got to try and line up the um, the eyes, and we've got to remove certain things like this little control device down there, and the uh, the high collar, and also the background has to be fixed. So uh, we can do that by uh, scrubbing out um, the background. As you can see, we delete that and make that transparent, but we actually have to inpaint a bit to get rid of some of the hair um, that's left over if we once we overlay the the two images. So once we impaint that, um, we can have a look, check by making both of those uh, images appear and just check them. We've got to impaint the neck as well uh, because it, uh, we need to get rid of the, the clothing, the, the high collar, and also fix the shadow. You can see that the shadow uh, is in the wrong direction, uh, so we don't want the shadows changing direction. So that's, so that's another part of the impainting of the neck that needs to be done. And the other thing that we need to do is actually fix the nose because the the direction uh, that she's looking is slightly different. And so you see that there's a shadow on one side of the face. If we just change that nose slightly by doing a bit of impainting, we get a better visual match with, uh, with the before shot so that the morph doesn't change things too much. So once we've got that, we can put all that together and we can see that the background's not going to change too much. The hair will change a bit, but that's unavoidable. And the shape of the face will obviously change because the shape of the actress's face is different. So going into GTK Morph, uh, you start off with a, a result image window, which is the master window. It's got the, got the menu bar in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up as uh, to use the, the PAL uh, pixel dimensions. Once we've got that, we apply that, and then into the first window, we can load the, the before shot. So this is the, uh, the Mary Tam uh, shot that we're going to start morphing from. And you've got the grid there that shows uh, where the points are that we're going to align to. And going back into the master window, we can create a new uh, input image. And this is going to be the final shot with Lala Ward. So what we have to do is we have to select the same points in both of the shots. So you can see that there's a few points there selected for eyes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, deforming the mesh. We've got a little magnifying uh, window up there so, to help us align things. Uh, the essential idea is to find points such as the eyes, the tip of the nose, the mouth and so on. And we're going to uh, try to m select the same points in both of the images. So we get those points right to the middle of the eyes there, the tip of the nose, the top of the mouth, the bottom of the mouth, uh, the chin, and we want to make sure we select points that go around the edge of the face so that we don't have um, the hair doing strange things as the morph uh, continues. Now, there's going to be some unavoidable um, changes happening to the hair on the left-hand side of the image. Uh, the other thing we've got to do is make sure we go around the eyebrows uh, properly so that the eyebrows don't... Uh, don't appear to fade in and, in and out. So now what you can do is you can see that um, we've got the same points flashing in both of the images so that that helps us align the points. So we line up corresponding points, get the grids looking similar. The side of the face there, there's nothing much we can do about that. We just, just approximately uh, get that correct but then go around the chin. 
uh, you can see that the uh, the chin is, is is a different shape there um, so we just have to do the best we can but make sure we go along the, the lines of the the edge of the face Now once we've done that, uh, we'll just line up the top of the nose there as well. Once we've done that we can uh, start the morph going. We have to go back to the result window, which is the master window there. And in one of these menu options up here we can uh, choose how many frames we want. And this will generate the frames onto disk. Uh, you'll also see it happening in a window as we, as we play that. Uh, it will show you the morph as it progresses, but it's saving those onto disk. So then we can load those up into KDN Live and we can add on some other special effects. So thanks for watching. This is the finished effect. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.